Yeah, good day. My name is Daniel. I'm definitely called P. Daniel. I want to encourage you this afternoon and um, based on some of the questions that people have asked me uh, via my DM, via mails, and I think I need to answer some of these questions and encourage you. Some of these questions are, uh, Pastor, what do I do when I wake up from the dream? Having probably a wet dream, I was fed by the, by a demon, I was beating in the dream, several encounters in the dream. What do I, negative encounters in the dream, what do I do when I wake up? See, the first thing that the devil is fighting in your life is that the devil is fighting your faith. And when the devil fights your faith, he introduces fear into your system. So because of that, you need to ensure that your faith is actually very intact. When you wake up from the dream, maybe you were fed and, and uh, maybe the devil came to press you. When you wake up, you're not supposed to be panicking or shouting or screaming. You're supposed to stand on the word of God. What did the word of God say to you? The Bible says, that shall take deadly things, not shall by any means hurt you. So you have to stand on the premises of the word of God, no matter what I've taken. Oh, never. I cannot be hurt by the devil. I used to be tormented by the devil before. I would just sleep. The devil would come and give me food. The devil would come and feed me. And I would wake up the next day with malaria or sickness. And after a while, I studied God's word and I became so serious with the place of prayer. I just, one of the nights, Satan came again with his food and I woke up the next morning. I said, Satan, is this your best? Can you break pounded yam tomorrow if this is your best? You know, Satan knows you know. Satan, when Satan knows you know, Satan will flee. But when Satan knows you don't know, we will keep tormenting you. I will come, I said, bring your best. I am strong. I didn't feel sick again. In case Satan come to bring food today, I will enjoy it. I say, Satan, thank you for your meal. It's just a waste of time because I shall take deadly things. Nothing shall by any means stop me. Also, you sleep, you see yourself sleeping with one girl or one brother. There's a spiritual husband coming to attack you in the night or something like that. You no, know, I used to have that experience also that I would, you know, after prayer, I just finished vigil. As I go to bed, one oh, old woman will come and mess me up. When I wake up, the bed is wet. You know, and I began to pray. Oh, this must have the Lord spoke to me. He said, Daniel, when the enemy is carrying a, a keg container of wickedness, and you are carrying a cup container, a cup container of the anointing, the keg will always win the cup because I'm a God of weight and measure. It dawned on me that there is something God is trying to say here. When the enemy has paid more price than you, you'll be amazed that the things the enemy is doing will be mightier and stronger and having stronger effect on your life. So what do I do? I stop praying about the issue. When I wake up, maybe in case it happens, I stop addressing the issue. I start beating up myself. I start equipping myself by praying the Holy Ghost, by studying the Word of God. In case I wake up now, after the affliction, I just start praying, building myself, studying the Word of God. I, but I must overcome this thing because the strategy is that I must build up. I must mount up. I must say, building up yourself in your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. So the more you pray, the Holy Ghost, the more built up you become. And you guess, guess what? After a while, I didn't know when the thing stopped. Why? Because I increased in capacity. So when the Satan came with his problem, he saw that this man was not the same small boy he used to attack. Satan knows when your level change in the spirit. They knows when your rank change. So what you need to do for this kind of challenge is that you have to equip yourself, build yourself until you overcome that challenge. How do you equip yourself? Meditate on the word of God. Study the word of God and meditate on it. So that even when the devil comes, you know what to answer. Have you ever thought, how did Solomon know how to answer God in the dream? God came to him, what should I do for you? He said, Lord, you know, I, I, I need wisdom. I will talk him out to us, even in a dream. There is a level of content of God's materials and what that you take in that even in a dream, you know how to respond. That when Satan comes to you in a dream, you know the right words to say. So meditate on the word of God voraciously and then practice the word of God. As you are meditating on it, keep practicing it regularly. Then pray in the Holy Ghost. If you can do these three things, you will rise in spirit. By the time the devil comes with this challenge, you will discover that you have risen against it. But many of us are looking for a quick solution. I'm going to pray for you that the affliction will stop. But this doesn't guarantee that the affliction will actually stop. The guarantee for the affliction stopping is that you rise up in the stature that when the enemy comes, he doesn't meet you at the present level he's meeting you. It might take a while, it might take a month, it might take days, but keep building yourself. Keep equipping yourself and never be afraid. When Satan comes with what you don't understand, reply with a language you can't understand. Then feed on the word of God. The word of God is quick and powerful. Very powerful. So when the devil comes, reply with the word. It's beyond cramming and quoting the scripture. It's when the word becomes flesh. When the word becomes life to you, you'll be able to overcome any attack of the devil. I stop the plague of the devil in your life. I stop the affliction of the devil in your life. I stop the power of darkness over your life. And I re release upon you grace to be diligent. Diligent in study, 
diligent in meditation, diligent in praying the Holy Ghost. When you make prayer your lifestyle, you will never be a prey to the devil. God bless you. See you next time.